the last two episodes of Chainsaw Man, I think, is the true Chainsaw Man. And it's not like the previous episodes were bad. It's just the last two kind of shows you exactly how scary this show can be. Welcome back to another episode of Chainsaw Man. Last episode, we wrapped up the whole assassination arc that was planned against our special divisions. As towards who organizes, I'll get later on that. I think it's a little bit of a tinfoil conspiracy theory. But who's scarier right now? Makima doing her little squeezing thing? Or... Or, Kobani that showed up at the end with a knife and just soloed that Katana and the Snake Devil. I guess they were already injured, but I did not know Kobani could fight like that. And remember, I'm a manga reader. I should have known this, but I've just completely forgotten because I guess it's been such a long time since I read it and I guess I kind of power read it too. Now, Makima doing that thing. How does she, What is her power? We're not allowed to know. Nobody's allowed to know. Even her like special workers like Tendo and the other guy. Everybody had to have a blindfold on because her powers and her contracts are super, super confidential. Then it's safe to say that this isn't her only power. She has this omnipotent ability to just execute wherever she is. Granted, there were some, you know, some constraints. For example, she had to be the highest place where she seemed to i guess have visions somehow you know there's like mostly birds crows would you know like flock around and then once they were in the vicinity she would make like a sacrifice say the name and then they would both die but she could basically determine how they died, like getting squeezed like this or like this it's like holy shit but every time she moved across yeah she like the way that she squatted down with the hips I'm glad that they're going into detail with that. That's great. Kobani at the end just surprised the shit out of me. I'm like, you were this, like, good at fighting? Where were you in the previous arcs? I guess it doesn't really matter, but it's nice to know that she can keep up herself. Now, the one that organized this. Do you think that it was Makima? Because remember, when that guy was resigning at the end, he said, you know, all the special divisions, they've all been attacked. Now we're kind of just formed into one. And you, Makima, have leadership over them all. Makima just kind of has a poker face the entire time, a slight smile. But then he then asks, how much of this were you anticipating? And she wouldn't answer, of course. But goddamn, could you imagine if Makima planned this just to have control over every one of them? I don't know. I think it's a worthy conspiracy theory to think about if you ask me anyways. Let's begin today's episode. How much of his lifespan was shaved away? Wait! <laughs> He's not cutting the apples for him though, remember? When Denji was in the hospital bed and Aki was like carefully cutting the peeling the apples and like putting on the plate for Denji. <laughs> this dude's only eating the apples himself. <laughs> Bro, what? Also, power, explain yourself. Where did you go? Oh, she just get another they're one in the basket too. Just pick one. Yeah, you ran. Why did you run? I guess she got scared. She she got hungry and went home. It's a bullshit excuse, man. I want to know what he's thinking about. This is he like fully accepting it? And that sword, or it's more of a nail. How much lifespan did it take? I don't know. Why not? Okay, we're about to get our answer. His total lifespan is two years. How old is this dude? Probably not even in his 20s. He has two years left to live. That's why he smokes. Like, it doesn't really matter at this point. Does it? It's like he's not going for the long run. He has no regard for anything other than to kill the gun devil. That's just... What after, man? What if you do get your revenge and then what? You just die, you're happy with that? It's like the path of vengeance is never a good one. Kime, no. No, don't think about it. You gotta move on. Is he gonna quit smoking? Because Kime no passed? Or this is depressing as fuck. Aki's actually crying. See, he does have emotions. This is a natural response. Unlike Denji and Paro, you know, they're kind of just crazy in the head. Denji's hearing it. What do you think about it? Empathize for it. Be supportive, man. Yeah. And of course, Paris just doesn't give a fuck. But like, Himeno became your friend at the end. You remember? We're supposed to be like wingmen. But Denji doesn't have any emotional attachments. Would you cry? But then, it's like, whatever. Is this because he's a hybrid? Kishibe? Kishibe? Is he finally getting a more 
I mean, we only have like two episodes left after this. There he is, at last. Before, he was always wearing a hat too, so you couldn't really see his hair. Oh, I, I thought she just told Makima to shut up, like, Jesus. Like, nothing. It's like, whatever. I thought they've died. Yep. Not really. <laughs> nah, that's just suppressing. <laughs> that's a kind of enlightened way to live. Humans, I guess. Hmm. That's like the shittiest of qualities, but it's maybe the ideal devil hunter. Kishibe's like, hmm, you still got what it takes. Yeah. Oh, we passed the test. But they, they, yeah, they're not normal. Like, normal humans would never think like this. I love it when people call me teacher. <laughs> yes, sir. I mean, yes, sensei. Mm. Alright, what a giga chat. I love drinking, killing devils, and pussy, baby. Let's go. Did he just bear hug them and broke their bones? Eh? That's a nice way to introduce yourself. Was this all planned? Now what? Why did you do that? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, for Denji, it doesn't really matter. He can heal himself. If they get some blood, they can heal up. That's right, that's right. But like, just to show that example, <laughs> he broke their neck. <laughs> His precious two new students. Hello, I love alcohol, woman, and pussy. Breaks their necks casually. <laughs> that's, that's quite the first, yeah, first impression through everything. The alcohol gave him some inspiration. Okay. So try to kill Kishibe and then you'll have trained up the strongest candidates. This training session is him hunting them. Say your best to stay alive, kid. Yeah, I think everybody's brain is here pretty much rotted. <laughs> yeah. He's gonna start killing you guys. Uh, no, I think. Wow, we're actually doing it. Okay. Alright, this is, this is one hell of a way to train up. I've never seen anything like this and like shown in series or even seen in series where like, try to kill your teacher. No, the teacher is trying to kill you guys. Uh, he should be fine. Just rip the cord. It's fine. It's nice to see that Kishibe actually gets some amazing scenes in the anime. I was afraid that he wouldn't get any screen time until the future seasons. Because, you know, that little thing with Quan Chi, you know, and you know. I thought that's when he was coming in. My memory's a little bit clouded of when I read the manga a long time ago. <laughs> Finally, I have some toys I can just abuse all day. <laughs> I hope so. I, I mean, this is a very fucked up training session, but okay. <laughs> More sacrifices. I mean, we're already come so far. More contracts? Sure. Take our lifespan even more? Sure. Oh boy. Nah, I don't think we're gonna be doing that. Alright, time to embrace hell. But what kind of new powers are you gonna get now? It's not just the gun though. Some scary words, man. You can see in his eyes the conviction. Objectively, if he only has two years left, this is the smart way to live. Like, there's no peaceful ending he can get with two years. If I was in this position, I'd be like, no, we're going all the way. I don't care. Like, strip me of everything I have. Like, until three months of life, then fuck it. Let's let's just like go out with the bang, because that's all he can do at this point. Is this Makima? Who is this? What? I don't recognize the back of that head. Aki's like, definitely knows her. What was that? Training is over for the day. They look traumatized. <laughs> look at the look on their face. They're like, holy shit. They did this inside the graveyard the entire time too. The night sky is pretty, but what a fucked up training session, man. Are you okay, Denji? Yeah. 
Huh? What's going on? <laughs> Power's got your back, don't worry. I, 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 you're saying heal, but you're bashing his head in. But okay, maybe that helps. Oh, thanks, Tower. I, I was going to go crazy there for a second. <laughs> <laughs> like the mental damage is so fucking strong. <laughs> you just fucked him up so much. He was going crazy. There. And they gotta walk home after Kishibi. You couldn't even give us a ride. It's a scary game, but remember, this is a young man's game. Meaning, you know, the average tenure of this job, devil hunting, is very short. Like people die when they're really young. So if you have someone as old as Kishibi still like alive and kicking it. That kind of shows, like, this guy is next level. This guy is ridiculously good at his job and really strong. Power is the one thing we need to use our head. I don't get them at all. What, what are they talking about? Huh? But you two are the last characters to be fighting like that. Really? Uh, it, it's nice to see that, you know, they're still inspired and motivated and they're even like strategic, like they're, they're changing the game plan, but like, we're gonna use our brains, really? I don't... Well, let's see what happens. So let's, let's give him the benefit of doubt. He's almost here. Why is she wearing glasses? He's... Him too, I guess. I bet they're wearing glasses to look smart. They probably think like if we wear glasses, I bet we'll even think smart. Something like that. Sneak attack? <laughs> Look at that reaction by a drunk man, dude. He doesn't care. Bottles of blood above. Oh, wow, they're actually thinking. Oh, she's actually thinking a lot, actually. Whoa. This martial arts from Kishibi is really cool, too. Is this really martial arts, though, if he's just punching? Denji from above. This isn't really a sneak attack. I mean, you. there's no way he didn't hear that. Come on. Did he just... He kicked his face, but the glasses are fine. But they're still blo- oh, I got- It got damaged a bit. I thought that he might have just kicked the glasses off with such precision. Short session today? Okay, thanks. I mean, yesterday was like... Just hours of just getting murdered. This is like one session. Good job, guys. <laughs> exactly! It's like getting a day off. Oh! Wait, one last knife to your throat. Head? Why did you? I... You let your guard down? Is that his lesson? Oh, you thought we were done? No, I'm kidding. He was trolling us. All right, it's time for you to die. It's time for you guys to die more. So many devils. The future devil. Only two people. Maybe Makima. Both their eyes taste and smell. This is fucked. Just take half of our lifespan because half of two is already one. It's already small, so small it doesn't really matter. Fucking take it, like whatever, I guess. What does a future devil look like? No cliffhanger, please. It's so dark. Can't see anything. There's a single eyeball. That's so creepy, man. But these are how devils are kind of stored away, huh? Hello. What would you like? My lifespan? A cliffhanger! Unfortunate, but I, I think we saw that coming. I, I was like, come on, give me the give me the more more scenes with like Aki about to trade it more of his like lifespan for the new powers, but I guess it's fine if we do that the next episode, we'll get more time to do it. Okay. This is such a depressing episode for Aki. Power and Denji, kind of depressing, not really. It's more hopeful and motivational. They're training against Kishibe. It's kind of crazy that the teacher is trying to kill the students and their entire goal is if the students are able to kill the teacher, that means he's done his job and they'll be the strongest devil hunters ever. Just amazing logic, but I guess it does make sense. But for Aki, it's just so sad because he doesn't give a shit about anything else except his revenge plot. And now it, another revenge plot has been added, right? It's not just about his family. It's about getting revenge for Himeno. And even after he read those letters of Himeno trying to make Aki quit and seeing that really like other side of Himeno that he didn't know about. He still has to continue walking into this fucking hell. Why? It's too late. Like, what is he gonna do realistically? Just quit? He only has two years left? If he were to quit now, what's he gonna do? Endure retirement for two years? No, it's gonna be like everything he sacrificed so far just means nothing. So he just has to continue just walking down this path. It's just 
It's pretty sad, man. Are you guys feeling it now? You, you thought Chainsaw Man was just like a fun anime where everything's just all fun and games and everything just, you know, just solves itself at the end of the day? No, I think we all saw exactly how dark the show was going to get and it's going to keep getting darker. Let me promise you that. But hey, if you stick around the song and if you enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm going to say. Check out the other videos and playlists on my channel. If you watch another video immediately after this one, it helps the YouTube local push out my small channel to be recommended so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.